the OFMAP is a, a surgical technique whereby the surgeon does not utilize the coronary artery bypass, which is the machine that takes over the function of the heart and the lungs. The surgeon operates on the heart without this machine and connects directly the, the, the grafts, which is the, the patient's own arteries and veins onto the heart while the heart is pumping away, so to say, and maintains the normal blood pressure of the body. Uh, this is a technique that is used by a minority of surgeons in the United Kingdom and around the world. Uh, the reason is that it's technically demanding, but it certainly has certain uh, advantages for surgeons who they use it and have enough, enough experience with it. A, a, an off-pump coronary bypass grafting is, is only slightly shorter than a procedure that uh, includes the, the bypass machine, purely because the connection, there is no need to connect the patient to this machine. But I would say overall, a bypass, an off-pump bypass operation takes anything between two and a half and four hours, depending on the number of bypasses that need to be connected and also other anatomical characteristics of the patient, which make the operation less or more complicated. Well, essentially, there are no significant differences between preparing for an off-pump CABG as the patient uh, or a non-pump CABG. The patient will have to consult the surgeon and also the surgeon's pre-admissions team who will give more instruction. Uh, most patients will be taking drugs, tablets, before the operation, and they might be asked to stop one of them. For example, one of the tablets that thin the blood, called ticagrelor or clopidogrel, might have to be stopped anything between three and five days before the operation. All these instructions are usually given to the patient by the surgeon and his team before the procedure. Well, although this is a heart surgical procedure, which by definition is very complex, overall the success rate is extremely high. Uh, there's a number for, of reasons for that. One is that this is a procedure that is very commonly performed by some heart surgeons, including myself. Most of us have performed several thousands of these operations. And uh, when the, the patients are chosen carefully, the chance of a patient surviving well and gaining benefits of this operation is over 99%. And um, the chance of the bypass working well 10, 15, or even 20 years after this performed is over 90%. The bypass operation is the most durable uh, surgical or, or medical procedure to ensure good blood supply of blood into the patient's heart. Well, um, uh, surgeons like myself who perform the procedure um, have evidence to believe that an off-pump CBG takes less time to recover than a more complex operation. Um, like after most heart operations, the patient will have to spend one night on the intensive care unit, followed by a step down to a high dependency unit where they will still be nursed one-to-one, -one, but without the need of a breathing machine. And this is usually followed by another three to four days of hospital care. After discharge, most patients are completely independent, uh, but they will still need another three to six weeks for complete recovery. To give you an idea, most patients are allowed to drive their own car six weeks after the operation. Uh, they are encouraged to go out for walks and they increase the amount of exercise they perform on a daily basis. They're able to exercise lightly, but they're advised to avoid heavy exercise, for example, going to the gym or playing golf or, or vigorous swimming for anything up to two to three months. Most patients who undergo coronary artery bypass grafting have had the whole thing behind them after two months with only one scar to remind them 
that they've had an operation. 